Sick and tired of having to untangle your rope when you take it out from storage? How about that precious time you waste when you could be on the water already? Keep watching this video for a simple yet effective way to always tie your ropes and lines so you're free of any tangles or knots. Hi, I'm Timmy McNamee, professional wake surfer and water sports coach for Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. And today, you're going to learn the difference between ski, wake, and surf ropes, how to properly tie your lines and ropes, and how to untie your line and rope. So for the three different disciplines in water sports, wakeboarding, water skiing, and wake surfing, we have different handles and we also have different lines and the materials that the lines are made of. So first things first, you have your traditional water ski line and handle. And essentially what this rope is made of is polypropylene, which means the amount of strands that are within this braid allow the rope to have elasticity. That's important in water skiing, especially slaloming, because as you come around the buoy in a slalom course and you put load on the rope, you actually want a little bit of give to help lessen the load on your body. And then we have your standard wakeboard handle and wakeboard line. And essentially, the difference between a wakeboard and ski rope is the material they're made of. So while the ski rope's made of a polypropylene, the wakeboard line is made of a polyethylene, and it's also spectra. So there's less stretch in these ropes. Now, that's important because when you wakeboard, you're doing a lot of airs and you're doing a lot of jumps and tricks that consist with handle movements and passes. The less stretch for the wakeboarding, the safer. And because it's also a thinner line, when you're doing your wake-to-wake -wake jumps or airs or inverts, you actually have less drag through the air to safely land your jump. And then we also have our wake surf rope. It looks a lot like the water ski or their slalom rope, and it's made out of that polypropylene, so it does have a little bit of stretch. It's a little bit easier on the rider, as it gives a little bit forgiveness for when you're getting out of the water and trying to find the wave. I refer to my ropes as the handle portion of the rope or the handle end of the rope and the end portion of the rope, the tail end of the rope. The most effective way to tie a rope or line is once that handle end is back in the boat, I like to take the tail end of the rope, cast it outside of my boat and slowly coil the rope back into the circumference or the V shape of that handle. And I like to keep a consistent coil within the circumference of that handle because that's going to result in less figure eights and less knots between each of the loop. You're gonna keep two or three feet off the end of the rope, take that tail end, flip it over onto the handle and anchor it with your thumb. And you're gonna take that loop and you're gonna wrap it around your handle two or three times and you're gonna take the tail end and pull it up through that loop. This results in a perfectly coiled rope. Once you're ready to take your next set to untie your rope, you pull that loop around off of the tail, unloop it around the handle, put the tail end onto your tower mount and cast that handle out and you should have a straight, perfect line free of any knots. With this line and rope tying method, you should always have a rope that's good to go. Make sure you take the time after each of your sets to properly tie your rope so that the next time you hit the water, no time is wasted. Ropes and handles have a lot to do with rider and skier safety. And from my professional opinion and experience, it's important to replace your rope and handle or line every year or two. This is because the materials actually start breaking down, which can cause a weaker line or rope and ultimately sometimes even break. Thanks again for joining us in Lens Cove's Lessons in Boating. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome how-to videos.